Look at the disrespect to the, hold on, you know what, let me not even, <laughs> Diana, put you on the grill right now. Yo, do I hit this shit with a montage dog? Oh, yes, there she is. Hey, you got makeup on too, there's no excuse. Look, bro, let's get some good ass angles, bro, you ready? Oh, boy. Uh, oh, what do you mean? Look, look, oh, shit, yo. Oh, <laughs> what do you mean, bro? That's just the owner. Ooh, ooh, look at this shark bite. Stop. Hey, but no lie though, I would totally buy your car off of you though. Just let me know when. Wait, is this it's because it's a D? Yeah. Goodbye, Diana. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell it. Okay. All right. Well, anyone else? If she actually sells it, anyone looking for what year is it? 2003? Uh, 2005 DE. Post oh hell yeah, I'm gonna post this shit. Hell yeah, you're on. Yo, you're going on YouTube. All right. So what happened was she was actually drifting her car into some construction barriers. I'm gonna put you on the spot. I had to. All right. But it's good to see you though. There it is. Bye. No, bro. You're good. It was good to see you. It was good to see you. Nah, Norgay. <laughs> so I'm gonna head out with to Driven Lifestyle's house so we can he can help me out with some maintenance on my car. This guy's gonna start his. I think mess up the vlog. Oh, okay, whatever. I'm gonna head out to to Driven Lifestyle's house with Felipe, and we're gonna just get some maintenance done so we can be race ready. So let's link up, bro. What the? <laughs> what, yo, how What the fuck? <laughs> Let me tell you, this is one thing I didn't expect, bro. So, all right, as you guys already know, this is Driven Lifestyle. Apparently, he has a Grom. What the fuck? <laughs> He's going to help out with the spark plugs, and we're also going to shoot some other things today. So, and then this guy, we might get him included too, since, you know, I, I think shirt. I'm going to do some donuts today. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm always down. Bro, I thought you got pulled over. Like when we were coming in from over there, yeah. the angle it is, it looks like the cop pulled you over. I was like, cool. I was like, what did you do in front of your house? This is the first time my car has been in a garage, bro. Are you serious? Yeah, like a home garage, and I, I, I feel so bad. All right, so Norgan, when you look at the engine bay to get to the spark plugs, it's kind of a mission, bro. So actually, we should probably. Well, it's it's a little hot, maybe. I got but. gloves. <laughs> I got orange or black, whichever you like. Uh, bro, I always go with black, but I'll try the orange out. All right. All right, so we got to take off the strut bar, then we got to take off the intakes, and then possibly the throttle bodies. I didn't watch no YouTube video on this, so we're just kind of winging it. I don't know. I mean, I guess if you guys are looking for a video on how to change your spark plugs on a 370Z, I'm not your guy, because we're definitely going to fuck this up somehow. Especially you, bro. Well, I'm gonna go you guys are a course. A I'm the cameraman. Course. You're the cameraman? No, you're not, bro. We're not you're recording. Help. What do you mean? You're going to help me, bro. Boy, I yeah, then we'll be done really fast. All right, Norgang, so we got the strut, uh, the strut brace off. This is a lot heavier than it needs to be. Whatever, it's off. It's off. And now we're on to the intakes. Give me a little bitch. <laughs> oh my god, that is a big ass dog. Hey. <laughs> What's going on, bro? Damn, no, what a beauty. Uh, Siberian Husky meets Alaskan Mountain. What a beauty, though. Now we have, like I said, we have to take off the, well, have to take off the intakes and then, uh, Take off the throttle bodies, and thankfully Jose is gonna help me clean it up too. So, whatever, let's just knock it out. Now that I got the intakes off, kind of, I wanted to avoid this, but it looks like the manifold's gonna have to come off as well too, man. Like, oh, this is really annoying. Just for freaking spark plugs, man. What a stupid design. I can access one. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, I'll keep you guys updated. So, your boy messed up. I forgot my little extension that can actually get the spark plugs out and now we have to drive all the way back home just to go get it, just to come back and finish. I would have been done in maybe like 10 more minutes, but... Damn, bro. I know. All right, let's go. You ready? No. Come on. I'm not. Yeah, come on. I'm not. Come on, bro. Come Gotta on. go pump E85. <laughs> we'll be back, baby girl, soon. I'll, Daddy will take care of you. So it looks like I'm riding in Buster instead. So this, I've actually been waiting for this moment for a while. So I'm pretty hyped on it. Follow you guys. You're gonna just follow us? All right. Have some fun with Buster on the way. That sounds so gay. <laughs> That's not gay. Okay. Damn. You gotta sign a 
waiver. Just take my body away, it's okay. <laughs> New shifter and boot from last time. I don't know, you've never been in the No, car. yeah, this is the first time I'm in it. It was ripped because I had the short term shifter. But dude, this is so nice, man. Damn. All right, so guys, this is uh, this is the first ride in Buster. So we've been waiting for this for about what, like a month now? Yeah. It's happening. Super nice. There's been a lot of six gens on the channel recently. <laughs> I think you guys know where I'm leaning towards right now. So once we get on the road, I'll continue the video so you guys can get some sound clips and stuff. I'm so jealous, bro. Oh my god. Woo. Oh my god. So this is what power sounds like. I own a Z, so. And a really slow one at that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean we never passed 40? Oh yeah, kilometer, 100, yeah. Kilometer, 100 kilometers an hour. Dude, follow, uh, subscribe to Driven Lifestyle. This 6th gen is freaking amazing, man. Holy crap. This is the one that I raced that he left it in like fourth gear. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I was half throttle. And that's the last you hear. Uh, ah! Fourth gear, half throttle, gave no, me like a. Gear, third oh, gear, third, third gear. gear? Okay, okay, now I don't feel as bad. No, third third gear, gear, half throttle, and he gave me like a two car or a car and a half like hit. Whatever. whatever. I just want the, the, I want to hear your car because that shit sounds nice. <laughs> because I like I like the VQ engines. I really do. I, I I love those those cars sound so sick. I think for a V6 it's the best sounding V6 there is. That's not German. Two J's. Ah, uh, but two J's is own unique sound. Yeah, true. You know what I mean? And you, the RBs. You got to remember because if I'm not mistaken, the the G's and even some of the Q's sound exactly the same. Uh, like the Q50, uh -huh. the one that's 3.7, they sound the same. So you have a lot of cars. Uh, uh, freaking Supra sounds unique as hell. No other car can sound like a Supra. Exactly. You know I mean? Just like a, a Coyote engine sounds a, a certain way. No other car sounds like a Coyote. You know what I mean? So it's like, I mean, the Camaro sounds iffy because it's it's kind of weird because it sometimes sounds like a 5.0, but then sometimes it sounds like a fucking LS. So it's <laughs> like it's weird, but it all depends. But well. You guys, you guys heard it first. Got a compliment. We got a compliment from a six gen owner. That's big. All right, so let's get back to finishing this car because we want to do fun shit. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, thank God for driven. What the hell, dude? Look how much sweat just came out of my arm. Yo, what the fuck? I lifted my hand. <laughs> all, right, all right, let's go back to the point, dude. Look how dirty. Look how black it is. That's also what she said. But look at that, bro. That's crazy. I have never cleaned <laughs> these throttle wise. I've actually never taken them off. So big shout out to Jose for the help. Damn, look at the difference. All right, look, Norgan Hollow. So look, all right. Here's him like half done, all right? And then here's what it looked like before. And then just look at all the black crap that's gonna be when you, ah, all the black crap behind it. Huh? I was waiting for a sex show, but all right. All right, so like, we took off the, the manifold cover. I'm gonna leave that off anyway. It traps too much heat. Look how good your throttle body closes that the, it's not even going through. Jesus. That's also because it's thick and, and um, with carb. So what happens is when you build up carb, mm -hmm. it actually makes a seal around the throttle body. So you're not getting any air in there. So, I mean, it should at least leak some through. When we clean it. So long story short, you're making me fast. 
I'm gonna make it a lot more reliable. <laughs> You're not making me fast? I, it, it will help you with the throttle response. But are you making me fast? Always. <laughs> there you go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna finish up. Uh, the spark plugs are kind of exposed now more, so we should be good to go. And this was just good maintenance. Good on you, Jose, for helping me out. Thank no you. Problem. And thanks for all your help. Look how dirty yeah, you are. Man. You got your gloves on. Like, bro, I appreciate you so much, man. Motivating support. Okay, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Uh, all right, Norgang, so finally, man. All right, look, so you're gonna have to take this off when you're doing this side, but this side, once you get the intake off, super easy to do. I had zero problems with it. This side was a bitch, all right, like, oh. And then also one of the bolt on this cylinder right here, it's a little bit tricky to get to. You can move the uh, the vacuum lines out the way, no problem. This side's kind of a mission, but we're gonna get the crank before I tighten the strut bar back on. I just wanna make sure my car doesn't blow up. <laughs> for a bit, run for like five to 10 minutes. I'm gonna let it warm up and uh, we should be good to go from there. So I'm gonna, while it's warming up, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the strut bar, back, strut bar back on. But also, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep the manifold cover off because when, when I felt it, it was really trapping a lot of heat. And I know a lot of people do it anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. But time to tighten everything back up and clean up and we're good to go and continue on with the day. Scare me, yo. I ain't gonna lie. We're really close to it. <laughs> the throttle response, bro, is fucking amazing, man. Like cleaning up all that gunk, really, really, you can really, really tell the difference. That's why I don't know if you saw, but over there, I was like messing with the throttle a little bit. It feels so good. Let me get out of the road, but it felt so good, bro. Do that every 10,000 miles is good. Thank you, brother. Do you guys ever just look at your reflections, like, cause now we look like midgets? Yo, what's up, dog? Yo, you want fight food? What's good, bro? What's good? <laughs> I don't know why. Yo, Midget. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> midget us is great. All right, let's head out. Everything <laughs> looks funny in there. <laughs> All right, hold on. We're trying to do something here. We got a nice Lambo that just passes by. <laughs> chances bro <laughs> it, sounded nice. it sounds nice all right bro it is oh like the weather has just been trashed no gang as you guys get some pretty back at the house um big shout out to jose for helping me out with the spark plug it's awesome had a lot of fun if you guys haven't already just go over head over to driven lifestyle give him a subscription if you like subscribe to his channel dude is a it's a super nice humble person and buster his his six gen camaro is just amazing so one big thing, we got the Z ready. I got rid of the misfire issue for one specific reason. I'm calling out these three people: BQ Rick. I'm, I'm gonna get gas. Like I'm not. I'm, I'm not. 
I'm not even gonna worry about that one. That one for sure, I know I'm gonna get spanked. CJ built, bring your charger, bring the Evo. I don't care, find something. We're getting that race in. Last but not least, Tour TV. We were supposed to race a long time ago and you ghosted on me. I'm calling you out. This time you get to pick the role or whatever. There's uh, Fast Lane Fridays this Friday in Homestead. Let's make it happen. Or if you can't come this Friday, just DM me and we can figure out a different place. Maybe get a couple of roll races in. All right, no gang, if you guys like the video, just make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching this far and I'll see you guys next video.